Hello and welcome to this video on keeping your bonsai in the same pot it is in now. A bonsai are often incorrectly described as having roots pruned to keep them small. This is in fact the opposite of reality. Roots are pruned to give them the best chance to grow fast and strong. This means that they would grow big. The size of a bonsai is maintained by pruning and careful training, and not by pruning the roots. This is done for an entirely different reason. The challenge with bonsai in some ways is to keep it alive, and not all the time, but especially when you repot. Repotting can be seen as a risky endeavour. It always has a possibility of your bonsai dying. This is both a small and big risk depending on the species, some are more of a problem than others. One way to avoid this has been to pot up your bonsai, that is to plant it into a new, bigger pot that it can grow into. The problem with this is that it requires a new bigger pot and that same process will happen every few years, and it will continue to happen. It is an unsuitable solution for something that is meant to be a potted plant. The pots only get so big while being somewhat manageable. If it's not possible to continuously pot up to a larger size, then you can take your bonsai out of the pot. There will be a difference in the original soil height and where it is when you need to repot. This small difference is not much, but it is there. You can take the bonsai out of the pot, root ball and all. You then add new soil to the bottom of the pot. You then put your bonsai back in, and it should sit level with the top of the pot. This will give you maybe another year or two at most of growth, before you need to consider repotting. This does lead us to the first thing you can do to keep your bonsai in the same pot and growing strong, root pruning. The general rule is that you take your bonsai out of the pot, cut the bottom third of the root ball off, and then some more to create a concave recess in the center. You then add soil to this concave area, around the root ball and over the roots. Because of this, you can plant your bonsai back into the same pot. The challenge here is that, as said, some species just do not tolerate this very well. When you are doing it, a point to focus on if you are going to do it less regularly is the removal of large roots. These are the very large roots, and then there are very fine roots by comparison. The fine roots are for feeding. They draw in water and nutrition. These are good and necessary. The large roots are used to fix the bonsai in place and keep it secure. An unnecessary trait in the bonsai pod for most of the time. As a consequence of this, you can remove the large roots without any worry. Unfortunately, you cannot remove all the large roots, as the small feeder roots come from these, and so some must be kept. Uh, those that you do remove will allow more room for soil without harming the bonsai's overall health. This is something you can focus on when you are trying to remove the root ball. Rather than just removing a third at the bottom in a blanket approach, target your pruning more specifically. Don't just remove the bottom third, specifically prune away the large roots from all across the root ball, so you take away only one third in total, but from those roots that are taking up the most space but are providing the least benefit. This gives you a lot more room to work with without having to be as easy to achieve. If the bonsai is not going to tolerate this and repotting at all, or not well, you can instead take a flat blade like a spatula, a blunt knife, or something similar, and run it around the edge of the pot. This will do a few things. First, it compacts some of the roots and separates them from the edge of the pot. This will create some useful but small openings. You can then add soil to this space. This again is a means of delaying repotting, but it is by no means a replacement, and you will have to deal with repotting. If you have done this and still want to try and add more soil, or continue to delay, you could add more soil to the top of your bonsai, as the bonsai will drop in the pot. This is basically the opposite to adding soil at the bottom. This again is only a temporary solution, and it does carry some other issues that you need to be aware of, especially that some trees do not tolerate soil on top of where they are already planted to very well. This is especially true if it begins to sit against the nabari or trunk which can lead to rot. If you still need to repot your bonsai, but you do not want to go to the next size up, you can take a far more extreme, if not radical step. Remove the bonsai from its pot entirely and place it in a grow box. 
This will lead to a spreading wide but shallow root from the nabari. You can keep it there for a year or two. This is time for it to grow strong and recuperate from what's going to happen to it and in some ways prepare. After you remove it from the grow box, you will cut the roots back harshly to fit into the intended pot, just as you were in starting a bonsai from near nothing or a Yamadori specimen. By doing it this way, in some respects, you are resetting the root mass back to where it would be at the very beginning, so the tree will suffer in some respects with regards to growth and similar, but overall, it allows you to keep it in the same size pot. You just have to have a slight delay in what you can do with it. Finally, there is the harsh reality. Sometimes it is better to delay repotting into a larger pot, but once the bonsai starts to show signs of suffering or distress from this approach, accept the need to increase the pot size and continue to delay at the next pot size up. It is sometimes better to accept this inevitability than have the bonsai die because you are so bent on not changing. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it interesting, consider liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please do post any comments, questions, or suggestions you have below.